about it. Have, Such is life, you know? Sometimes you shoot the laser at them, sometimes you shoot the laser away from them. <laughs> and, and in that situation, <laughs> how do you shot the laser away? You know, it's a totally different set. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't go down 0-2. Oh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> you're right, actually. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he was banking on that 60%. Yeah. <laughs> so this if is anything, why I wish we were a big streamer. We could get the Tapo stats on how many lasers he shot away. He would be like, oh, it was, I'm gonna go it was only 54. It. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> sometimes he would shoot like three in a row, like in a single yeah. full hop as well. Well, the only reason I <laughs> thought it was lower was because there was like a solid like game where he didn't shoot one for like the bulk of it and then shot two or three at the end but it was like he definitely shot Lenny on that uh, FD yeah. not FD um, fog game he shot enough reverse lasers to make a difference to the set he definitely yeah like <laughs> he didn't shoot the one that mattered though I'm not going to say that he would have won because that's like he probably he may not have or wouldn't have but like that's an amount of lasers that will decrease your standard play by like 10% or more. Anyway, I think Davox is uh, likely to take this one again. It's looking cleaner today. Yeah. Oh, that down smash just clean beat Fox's thrill, even on like the third hit of it. Yep. Oh. Uh, yes. All right. Too easy. Yeah. The one phrase uh, that always comes to mind when I talk about Sheik or think about Sheik is wife telling me or saying something to like a group of us in uh, 2015. Oh, yeah. Sheik is, is mostly known for being sinfully easy. I've always yeah. thought of the phrase sinfully easy, like ever since then. It is, it's a sin. Yeah. Much like... I don't think I've ever paid as much as for a meal as that one. Which one? The, like, the BAM7, like, fucking... Uh, I don't think I went to that. Oh, you didn't? No, because it's so expensive. Yeah. See? I don't have to sit on a table with a wife and, like, I don't know, talk about how, um, Shaky's friend had the worst tag ever. What was it? Telefunken. How is that the worst tag ever? I don't know, it was pretty bad. Oh, wife's pr worst tag. I mean... <laughs> wife is a pretty bad tag. It's like hindsight, it's like, yeah, it's not a good... What about Mewtwo King? What about Hungry Box? Actually, Hungry Box's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know, man. Telefunken's pretty bad. No, Telefunken's fine. <laughs> he read it off a TV and was like, this is good enough. Yeah. Wife literally has no idea. Scrattles... Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I'm upset. Chew that's a good tag. Yeah. Maybe wife didn't watch the documentary and didn't know the uh, the origin of the tag. Maybe he knows the origin and he was just sick of it. <laughs> he, he was the one that had to originally deal with Chew that back in the day. You know, I love the scene in the documentary where they're walking through the like ritzy restaurant. You know the one where wife's like, this place is so ritzy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they get, go up to chew that, and he's like, hey, man, easy on the camera, dude. <laughs> so good. Maybe the best chew that moment ever. And he's had a few. Yeah. Also, the emote in one of the discords, or like pod, if you're familiar with that collective of humans, is a chew that lunch. And it's the one where it's just a small slice of bread and a really big sausage with a Coke life. <laughs> 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 and the bread one? is like, like the bread only covers like one quarter of the sausage, but it's yeah. on the furthest quarter of the sausage, and the, <laughs> the three quarters is like trailing off of the sausage. Was this a meal he had while he was yeah, here? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I don't know. It's like food photography that he does and puts on uh, yeah. Twitter. Yeah. Uh, I did love that he like had the um, fucking what you call it? meat pie from 7-Eleven. Put oh, that he, on Twitter. He's about it. Damn, Musky takes that one clean. Yeah. Two stocks to. To zero. Two nil. That is how melee works. Someone <laughs> yeah. someone always ends up losing. The other guy doesn't win. You yeah. lose. A lot of... Lot of uh, the, uh, very few 3-2 games in melee. Ready? Yeah. Oh, there are a few there. Yeah. It happens. Not yeah. so much since the uh, banning of certain stages. Yeah. 
and the lack of Young Link in tournament play. Yeah. Like, it's been a while since I've seen a 3 to 2 game, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. That said, HBox playing Falco against Young Link popped up on my YouTube today, and I was like, oh, I'm always down to watch that. <laughs> the the H bird is sick, dude. It's like, I don't know, man, the footage I saw. Oh, it, it's like, it, H bird's actually good. You remember uh, Hungry Box uh, Falco friendlies with Mango, Mango, where he won like three in a row of uh, Falco Dudes? No, I do not remember this. When did <laughs> this was really this summit? It summit, yeah. <laughs> it was really funny. It was like live streamed by like Mike Hayes or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. And every time Hungry Box won, he like tweeted. <laughs> And then Hungrybox tweeted being like, it's crazy to think if Puff, if I didn't pick Puff, like, whether I'd be a Falco man today. <laughs> Is Mango just bad at Falco Duros? Because that's what it looks like. I think it's just him not playing the matchup. I think it's a very uh, rock, paper, scissors heavy matchup. Isn't that what he's good at, though? Kind of, but you can just lose. Yeah, that's true. And the true. punishes are big. That is very true. And he doesn't play it in a very, like, Dr. pp esque way where he can, like, avoid the mix-ups. He just enters into mix-ups. Yeah. He's like, I'll be fine in this mix-up. I'll win. Yeah. And then, you know, you only have to lose eight. Oh, I didn't kill. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. He cleans it up. I thought he was just going to run up up smash, but... Drill shine did yeah. the trick. Surprised he caught like the back dash one, like slightly harder, and you have to actually, you know, know which way you're gonna send it with the shine. Oh yeah. Plus, it's all about like being good at a few things. Yep. That shine up smash is one of those things you'd like to be good at. Yeah. Because we've all seen Fox players like last stop hit the shine and then like. Attack and knock it stock. Oh, yeah. And then get, I don't know, cheek back it or something. Yeah, Fox has never combo me out of Shane. Only Fox in Australia that combos Moth out of Shane is Duck. And luckily, he's never actually played a set against me where he tried. <laughs> just didn't get any shines or? No, like, he, he just played against me one time and just sandbagged and lost really badly. Oh, okay. And just did up smashes in place repeatedly. And I was like, uh, okay. I've never been so disrespected in a set that I won. And, like, it was clear that I was winning. It was, like, it was disrespecting me as I was winning. Oh, there's sort of, like, two docks stuck down, like, Falcon Punch. It's just like, what are you doing? Yeah. And like Gooch had money on Duck winning against oh, me. Oh, get wrecked. Yeah, get that's wrecked. A, that's a grab release. So I won the tournament entry and I won a bet against Gooch that I would beat Duck. <laughs> Duck just didn't try at all. Secretly, he had money on you as well. Duck, yeah, probably. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Dude, it's 2 0. Yeah. Really Let's is just run deal. away with it. Damn, get grabbed. No, he just up tilted. Uh, I guess I guess he expected the fade back. He hit by both hits of Oh Ronaldinho. That uh, was so good had he grabbed the fucking ledge. He wanted he got greedy with the like double jump up back air that I yeah. used. Oh what a grab again, he's insane. I hit Deca with so many of those grabs at uh, City of Melee, High Stakes 6, or whatever it was. <laughs> Which I don't know why I was rewatching that whole tournament. But but you just started the playlist and was like, well, I'm committed now. Yeah. Is that the one where you beat Deca real bad in Grants? Yeah. Okay, yeah. A classic tourney. Definitely kind of low point in Vic Smash when you were just going over there and like farming them pretty much. Yeah. Like no Vic, resistance at all. Vic was going for me at that point because that was Duck Decker. Yeah. If you remember. I, I do remember Duck I hated Decker. Duck Decker, dude. Oh my. Oh, uh, that's the worst guy I've ever seen on a shine. <laughs> Holy crap. 
Like he was in the bubble on Fountain before he like he yeah. got hit. He just teleported through the stage into the blast zone somehow. Yeah, he got stadium glitched. Yeah. Wow. That's the thing about Shine. It's about as good as Wobble. Yeah. It can kill at zero, unlike a Wobble. Uh, Wobbles can kill at zero. Not if you mash. Not if you mash, yeah. Whereas that well, Shine, there was no counterplay to you. Well, had he mashed up instead of down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, angular mash. Yeah. Oh, what even happened there? How did he, how was he so late? Because it. Because of the um, right. platform moving down. Oh, he could have shined. That was a miss shine. That was a stuff. Yeah, must get kind of getting robbed that stuff. Yeah. Oh, what are you? That's insane. Can this no guy's... one shoot in the right direction? <laughs> it's hard. I can't even neutral be in the right direction as well. I, I did one in my set against Elvis. Oh, damn. No one can do it. Or Kai, maybe. I'm not sure. But... Now that we've all got new controllers in UCF, people have stopped carrying back controllers, so everyone has snapback. <laughs> Only Don B has the snapback capacity. The Don B, yeah, exactly. That's why he's still a top player. Among other reasons, like fundamentals. Yeah, yeah fundamentals are pretty good. Patience. He definitely has more patience than, like, probably the rest of Victor. Oh, what a recovery. <laughs> what a... He's going to cheese him back there. Oh, he could have gone back there. Back there now. <laughs> These are good players. <laughs> So which one of these guys are you most scared of playing? I don't know, dude. It's been a rough day for, for Melee. Yeah. I blame the, the new conditions in this room. The climate, the, uh, the ambience. The high stakes kind of stage environment. Yeah. Oh, with, 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 with sadly very little on the line. Oh, yeah. Pride. Pride, yeah. Devin's last tournament in South Australia. Oh, that's right, he even flies back tomorrow, doesn't he? He's exactly. going to be here on Sunday. He's looking to make it count. Yeah. Get absolutely needled. I love that that doesn't do the full damage but the grounded ones do. It's like... Nair to up tilt is better than Nair to grab that. Don't at me, just get. Do not. Whoa, he's oh. insane! But he's gonna up tilt. In fact, he could have just up tilted. It would have been better to do that up tilt afterwards. But, but he insane. killed it. So exactly. who gives a fuck? That's the thing about melee. There's like a million ways to skin a cat, and we're all trying to figure out the best one. And it's like, it's if the other guy dies, is there really not a best one? Well, he didn't die in that interaction. He died yeah. subsequently. And it's not that easy to juggle Sheik with Fox. Like it's very easy with Moth. Yeah. But, uh, you kind of got a shock with Fox a bit more. Kind of just these moves. Just grab. Ooh. Oh, Devin's looking good. Will there be another set defining SD? Oh, yeah. I love the idea from us of if I just shoot enough lasers, this will beat the needles. <laughs> I mean, he's already committed to shooting one. So. Yeah, so it's like, might as well mash it. Uh, weak bear, yes. Oh! Shit. Get him. Up tilt. No. He has to get out. So smart. Yep. I've seen that combo before. Yep. <gasps> Good choice. Sometimes you gotta meet him up there. Uh, oh, what a crazy. Rolled. a good choice, like just waiting on the ledge and not doing an option. Chick's got no hitboxes. Let him come back and not make it. Uh, Must yeah. get up attacks more than average. And with Fox, it's not that good. No, I I with wonder how many of them he's buffering and how many he's actually thinking this is the idea. No, I think he meant to do that one. Yeah, probably. But like, There's been a few where I'm like, oh, he probably was trying to do something and he got hit out of something. But that one was definitely a... Should have hit the tech, like, let alone the. Two. 
Yep, that's it. Oh, he's too done it. Thought he could have up tilted, but. Yeah. As long as he doesn't hold straight down on a shine, he should be okay. It's been known to happen. We'll do it. Up air him, yeah. Oh. And we got a tight battle here. Yep. Very tight battle. Doesn't get any tighter than this, folks. It's 2 2. We got Musket's counter pick, but Davin with the momentum. Sheik Fox, two characters, a variety of moves. Right. Jumps. I, I kind of like this from Musket. He's 0 and 3 on FD so far. Yeah, I across agree. the two sets, so you might as well try something different. Musket's just like, his internal logic is like, well, I'm lame, so FD must be good. And uh, it's actually not that good. Dude, up throw only does 2% if the lasers don't hit. That's kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not a good move. I mean, it is. It, like, it, like, it is because it. you get like up air that does a whole lot more than 2, but still. I remember looking at the Prima Guide back in the day. Ooh. And uh, Moss throws did such low damage, I was like, what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you trust, trust in the Prima guy, it's not the greatest option. Well, they do do low damage. Well, that, well, that is true. That's the, that's uh, see, I, the worst I never had in the game. I, I <laughs> <laughs> see, I had the Brawl one. Was warning against using Meta Knight. You know, 6 out of 10 character. It's yes. like he's got a sword, but he doesn't have that much range. That's true. Moth, on the other hand. Yeah, 9 out of 10 character. Super good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, his combos are way better here, and his juggles weren't that good in FD, but now he's dead. Oh, no what a tag. I thought he was going to back up, but he nerd, which... Why wouldn't you just infinite? <laughs> yeah, good. Good reaction. Because, like, with the wall there, surely you can just wave shine into it forever, and then just up tilt or something, and... Yeah. You know like, how there's like, like pushback thing where if you hit oh, them too many yeah, times yeah, in one combo, you get pushed backwards? And then maybe because there's the edge there, if you get hit all the way to the edge, you can like uh, slide yeah, off the yeah, die. Yeah, I could say that. But I don't know. It's just such a rare occurrence, I guess. I'm sure you can drill shine infinite. Yeah. If you can do that. I remembered how difficult melee attack skill actually is because I tried playing non claw. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is impossible to do anything. Like, sometimes like it blows my dash. mind people that, like, chill and dude can multi shine with um, stick jump. Yeah. It's like, that's crazy. Oh, I couldn't short hop. I couldn't do anything. You should have been able to short hop. It's like. My thumb is just doesn't do that anymore. It's just, it's just out of practice. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure I'll get there with some, Yeah, if I practice non claw for some yeah. reason, then I'm sure I can get there. But I was like, why would you? Yeah, yeah. I was just kind of curious, because I was playing like some other game on the GameCube that didn't require claw. Yeah. Ikaruga or something. Oh, yeah. The game's good. It is good. It's a lot of bullets. It is a lot of bullets. But, like, you know, only half of them hit you. Yeah, it's true. Did you turn your CRT sideways flat? Uh, I had. So I was reading Cube Magazine in 2001 or two, <laughs> and uh, they suggested that. They did it at Avcom once. I think they had the Dreamcast fight stick on it. Had the sideways CRT. It was like the arcade. Nice. Dude, uh, Cube Magazine was fire. That was a magazine. Yeah. Worth playing the game of, I'm pretty sure I can't hit you through the tree, but maybe if something goes through the ground, I'll get it. I remember reading Cube Magazine and uh, they had a review of Winning 11 6, or which is like the Japanese version of Pro Evolution Soccer. Oh, yeah, yeah. And apparently it was like the best damn soccer game ever on the GameCube, better than FIFA. And I went through so many trials and tribulations to get it. And my dad went to Japan one time, brought it back, but it was for PlayStation 2, so I couldn't play it anyway. <laughs> and uh, I never played it. Yeah. I was so hyped to like go through all the names and rename like Van Nistel Grab to Van Nistel Roy. You know how they have like fake names? Yeah, yeah. In uh, Pro Evolution. But I never Or just like in most of them. Like, you ever play Ricky Ponting Cricket? Yes. They I only have. bought Ricky Ponting. <laughs> Every other name is. They had like. They had the World Cup, all the World Cup squads from 2003, I'm pretty sure, but they didn't have anything else. Yeah. My other favorite is Aussie Rules Free for the NES. <laughs> Gross. This is like. Terrible. You could play as Purple Darwin and shit. 
It's like they didn't get the teams at all. Purple Darwin. <laughs> it's just like you get to pick a color and a city, basically. Nice. Anyway, you're and, Yeah. All right.